Like a plot straight out of a movie, court documents show since 1995, the feds have had their eye on these two men, Devin and Richard Smith, also known as Ku and Chu. Just recently, they've been indicted for drug trafficking and are suspected money launderers. After years of anonymous tips, intelligence reports, and confidential informants, authorities made their move today. With the warrant approved to search four different properties, we know they searched Larry De La Paz's building on Branch Street. I cooperated, so I opened his door and I looked up there, went up there in the back, went in the bathroom. In court documents, it shows Richard claimed to operate two businesses here, a nightclub called the Boom Boom Room and AR Car Service, companies believed to have recently been created to launder drug proceeds. De La Paz tells us Richard rented out his bar and grill area for only two months for a restaurant. He kept lying to me. That's the reason I told him, I said, you know what, just forget it. Just forget it. Because I told him, I said, you've got to go. He says officers spent 45 minutes inside here, but didn't leave with anything. Another place listed on the warrant, an apartment here in Comstock Village. We know officers searched an apartment believed to be where Devin and his girlfriend live. It's unclear if police left with anything. This is one of the homes on the search warrant. Neighbors tell us KVET and the SWAT team came in this morning. They took the electronics, the vehicles, nearly everything inside. This is where authorities believe Richard lived with his girlfriend and her kids. Me and all this stuff. So is it not Nagy's anymore? I see you're putting the tape over it. This was another business on the search warrant. Although the employees tried to cover the sign when we got there, the men here tell us Devin Smith doesn't work here. But authorities believe Devin was at some point a manager and was possibly hiding and selling heroin here. You're on private property. In Kalamazoo, Crystal Hilliard, 24-hour news 8.